guys everyone and welcome back to another Borkino game video. Today's video is dedicated to a Nicola gear guide so let's jump right into things. Now as far as it goes she's probably one of the best characters and probably can fit on any team because of her ability right here. Nicola's attack decreases the target's damage resistance rate by 33%. Last three rounds so that's on her combat passive so any of her attacks has a chance of damage resistance down and I think this is a fantastic skill. If you're wondering this is the way mine is currently geared. Yes, I can definitely work on her gear, but for the most part, she is a utility character. And as far as utility characters go, they can be pretty much put on every single team. So let's go ahead and jump onto her actual build, her actual gear. And this is the way it's pretty much gonna go. Bone Crusher is her premier weapon because it's going to increase her ability to damage resist down. Of course, you can use other ones, but this is her defense set. For the most part, its aim is to keep her alive as long as possible. You know, Nightmare Robe restores HP, Swaying Wine Glass, Life Steal, Witch's Dance Boots for a bit of silence. You can use other things. I put them on the side so you can use like the Lava Suit for something more consistent, or you can use something like the Crimson Long Boots for attack reduction. Now, my only thing is with Nicola, she is not a tanky character. Of course, you can try to build her, you know, for that because she is more utility based. But at the same time, she does pretty like great damage, I would say. So, you know, for the most part, you should definitely not use this set, in my opinion. Next, you can use the utility set. Now, this one is probably the most consistent, I would say, in some ways. Just because, you know, you're using her for utility. Again, with Bone Crusher. Flora Cloak, you don't have to use this one. I just think, you know, most of the time when you people get hit, it's usually single target damage that pre pretty much annihilates them. You can use Lava Suit for something more consistent for the effect resistance, you know, rate. And then Witch's Dance Boots, it's going to be here just to, you know, the increase that silence chance. Now you can use something like Hero Scarf because pretty much what happens is, is every action increases the attack of one random ally. Now this is a difficult... I believe item to get because you can only summon this. I haven't seen this in the Illusion Corridor. And then you have other things like, you know, the bloody shirt, which is pretty cool. It increases, you know, your rage meter whenever you get hit. You can use something like Boots of Praise, but I don't recommend it. And then Elizabeth's Bath Thory. Now, I think this one is pretty good because, you know, 10% chance to dispel a debuff. But the thing is, is probably Witch's Dance Boots, just like the queen of everything. It's just really good because you have a 30% chance to silence, and silence can pretty much negate an ult or at least a couple of attacks, right? Next is going to be the attack set, and you can run this one. You can replace Staff of Hope with Bone Crusher, you know, just to increase the rate of landing a damage resistance down. Now, as far as Staff of Hope goes, it is the best AoE, you know, weapon in the entire game because it increases AoE damage specifically and, you know, it increases the attack. Nightmare Robe, you know, just for consistency sake, you know, chance of restoring HP. You can also technically use something else like we offered earlier. And then we're going to look at the Witch's Dance Boots. Everyone knows what it does. Fury Shawl by far one of the best ones I have to say just because it increases both attack and crit rate anything that increases both of those is going to be one of the best weapons in the entire game or best accessories next is going to be the dream prism you can use something like this you know it sort of works like Kasumi's you know ability where it increases your, your attack by sacrificing a bit of HP. I don't recommend it. I don't really recommend it. And then I put the Angel's Dance Boots here. Like that might be a utility more base like shoe, but for the most part, it's there if you want to use it. Now this is the budget set for Nicola. Now you can use, you know, the Kukulon. I think this is one of the best ones just because it increases overall attack. An attack is something you always need. You know, all weather suit for that defense increase, boots of praise. I just like this one personally. And then dark tail for a bit of RNG damage rate. Damage rate is super important because it's much better than just a flat out attack boost because it can bump your overall damage that you're dealing. So the dark tail will allow you to increase your damage from 200k to like 215k. All right, let's jump into other things. I just wanted to showcase, you know, Nicola in arena. But first, we're going to go ahead and jump to Crusade because I finally have a moment. I have a moment to finally show Yume in her proper form. So we're going to go ahead and challenge this Rotanya. This is the team that we're going to be running. And if you're wondering, I'll show off Yume's gear after. She's pretty much running a, a rage down set. Anything to decrease rage, that's pretty much what she's going to be doing. All right. So the first thing you do with Yume is you place her first. and Or you can place her second. It doesn't matter. You can play something like Penny. But pretty much her, her main squeeze is going to be that rage down ability. That's pretty much what she's there for. 
Now, it's going to be really, really hard to, you know, make her shine in some ways because she's not going to be here for damage. She's here just to decrease that rage meter. That's that's her one purpose, all right? Oh, no. That's a lot of rage. We don't... So, I guess I should have put her in later. This is like a misplay on my part, 100%. Because, wow, she did not decrease... She barely decreased any, you know, like, rage. That... Because pretty much rage is the one thing that stops me from probably... Proper, properly dealing with uh, guild events because without it you pr you pretty much can't participate properly what happens is you you pretty much get gunned down by the guild boss but you can see here you know we're perfectly fine now the thing is is Yume's probably gonna die on the next hit which is super unfortunate I don't really want to deal with that but we'll be okay at the end because all of our units are super tanky so yeah we're not that far into the stages I'm assuming you can wear something different you know so this doesn't happen to you but it'll be okay for the most part. Let's go ahead and do this and knock her out of here. Drop a little bit of Nina action and then we're good. Nice. Nina doing some pretty big deeps right there. All right, so we're in the lower stages. It's not really like that great of an example, but for the most part, that's what Yume is pretty much really useful for. She does the same thing as Miyuki doing that rage down. All right, let's do some Marina and let's talk about a few things. Now, as far as everything goes, you know, I feel like we're in a good, good, good area right now as far as like Illusion Connect goes. I I think it's going to be one of those games that just stays on my, you know, own or blue stacks or whatever. Even like no matter what happens, just because it's such an easy game to play, I can literally boot this thing up, finish everything within less than 20 minutes, and then I don't have to log in for the entire day and still be relevant within the game. There's not a lot of games that can do that. And when I play a phone game, that's just something that I want out of it but i also want the capability of you know being able to play as long as i possibly want and illusion connect cannot provide that of course i, I there's some gotcha games that i wish that can provide that in some ways but you know stamina is limited maybe genshin impact is the only one that can do something like that all right we're just gonna do a full sweep can we full sweep everyone if you're wondering like you know this is the way my lineup looks it's nothing too crazy we are at 293,000, and we will do a gear review like what's my overall upgrades for everything because yes i am jumping up in power and if you're wondering where my power spike is coming from it pretty much has to do with miscipula if you're not focusing on your miscipula I'm not sure what you're doing because pretty much that's going to be one of the biggest differences in the entire game, you know, for most players. And the reason why is Miscipula provides you the most amount of resources. I'm pretty sure you guys are staring at like my 4k crystals, you know, like my 1 mil gold or whatever that I always have. And that isn't really because of trials, that's only because of pretty much the way I upgrade my Miscipula. My Miscipula is like my absolute main focus. If I can upgrade that, everything's going to be pretty much really, really good. I'll always be topped up on resources, topped up on gold, topped up on EXP. So upgrade your Miscipula. It's going to be the thing that makes you pretty much better than everyone else. Of course, like my account rank is at level 60, and that's why I'm getting premium resources all the time. All right, come on. Let's go ahead and knock this out. 283k. We knocked out like the 320s, the 317s, the 340s earlier. All right, good, good, good. So I guess we're just going to pretty much fast challenge everything. You know, for the most part, I would say get ready for tomorrow's video. It's going to be really cool what I'm going to be showcasing. But anyways, make sure to like comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. As far as Nicola goes, you know, she is definitely going to be an amazing character on your team. Probably one of the best free-to-play characters that you can get right now. Anyways, I will see you in the next one.